but like they have security cameras when people don't clean up their fucking shit, they get beat the fuck up. <laughs> What's up, people? Oh, focus. Look what just came in the mail. It's the, uh, Z... 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 Yun? Z Yun? Um, crane. It's like a handheld stabilizer. It's basically... Oh, autofocus. Um, it's basically like, uh, the Ronin that I have, like a camera stabilizer, but it's like a handheld one. So, I got it for the gym to look like even more of a douchebag because... It'll be way better for making like workout videos, like edits for Instagram and stuff. And oh, there's Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Hey. Uh, yeah, she's she's busy. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna use it for vlogging because it it's pretty small, but like it might be kind of intense. But if I do, it'll look really really good because nothing beats nice smooth vlogging footage. Um, but yeah, so I use it for the gym just because it's like pretty small and it's just gonna be like 10 times better. Like I can't really bring the Ronin to every gym that I go to. And I don't really like making like Instagram workout videos without a stabilizer because it just doesn't look as good. Um, and you kind of have like more freedom of like what you can do with it. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna set this up and I will show you guys what it looks like in a second. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, okay. So it obviously comes with this nice little case. And, uh, yeah, oh wow, great build construction, high quality for sure, feels pretty good. All right, I am going to set this thing up. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. So basically, anywhere you move, it stays balanced 100%. So everything looks nice and smooth, no matter how <laughs> you do. Oops. All right, so check this thing out, guys. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm walking around right now, wave my arm side to side, and uh, hopefully it looks pretty smooth. Obviously, like, up and down doesn't save lives because how would it do that? But side to side, as long as you hold it level, don't realize how much I'm moving my arm right now. Or maybe you can't see my arm. I don't really know because I don't have a flip-out screen. Uh, this is Sony a7S. It doesn't have that feature. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is, uh, what it looks like. Hopefully I'm pretty sure it looks pretty freaking smooth right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, it is, what well, since today's Saturday, uh, it's like seven seventeen. Uh, I'm making some food right now. Let me show you guys. So look, this thing also has a little joystick so you can flip the camera down. Look at that. Wah, wah. All right. Veggies. Flip, whoa. Flip this thing back up, slowly, there we go. Um, I'm about to throw some eggs in there, make some scrambled eggs. Um, then have like a PB&J or two, that's gonna be my pre-workout meal. So, tonight is gonna be deadlifts, and I'm a little worried because, oops, sorry, camera's getting, acting a fool. Um, Taylor and I have been out of town for the past three weekends, we've been up in LA uh, shooting videos, and I usually deadlift on Saturdays. So, I haven't deadlifted in like three weeks. Um, I tried deadlifting, at the gym, the 24 that we go to, but the weights are like those octagon plates and they fucking suck. Um, and also like the, the floor that they have there is like these really thick rubber. So when you like throw the weights down, it bounces up because there's so much rebound because it's like crazy rubber. It's really fucking frustrating. And I hate deadlifting there. Uh, but honestly, that's just me being a little bitch and making excuses, but whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go get a deadlift session in. I'm not really too concerned with weight because I'm kind of have a feeling that, uh, I'm not gonna be as strong. Um, if that is the case, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just gonna be focusing on volume. So uh, I'm not gonna be lifting as heavy as I normally would. Um, but just gonna be doing a lot of sets, probably do some block pulls, maybe some band work, maybe some deficit deadlifts with bands. I don't know. Um, and then probably some safety bar squats afterwards. But anyways, I'm gonna eat and then I will catch up with you guys at the gym. <clears throat> Hi guys, just getting to Convoy Strength. Hopefully you guys can see me, but it's pretty freaking dark right now. Um, but, here we are. Holy shit. This is the only downside. Is that you guys can't see anything, I can't really see anything either. The lights are on the other side of the freaking gym. Alright guys, ready for this? One, two, three. 
here we are. <sighs> so, as you guys heard, it's deadlift day. Um, not sure what the working sets are going to be, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three sets of regular deadlifts. I'm going to do three sets of block pulls, and then three sets of like uh, deficit deadlifts plus some bands. So, then safety bar squats. So, let's get to it. All right, so that was my second set that you guys just saw. And uh, as I said earlier, I'm kind of like, I'm feeling I'm not gonna be as, oops, I'm not gonna be as strong. And now that I'm kind of working out, I kind of feel that I'm getting like a little bit of a head cold. Um, but like I said earlier, so I'm not really focusing on weight today. I'm just focusing on volume. So just keeping the intensity kind of moderate. I'm not going to failure. I'm just gonna do three sets of four with 425. And then move on to some block pulls. Um, so yeah, like I said, just focus on volume, not really, going for like max weights or anything like that tonight. Um, so yeah, so just finished up my regular deadlifts. I uh, just set up to do some, where is it, right here? Some block pulls, so you guys will see that in a second. Um, so I know I said earlier that I wasn't gonna bring this to the gym, um, the, the stabilizer, but obviously here it is, I'm using it if you couldn't tell. And I think in an earlier clip, I said that I probably wasn't gonna use this thing for vlogging. I was obviously lying again because this thing is freaking awesome. Um, so after I've used it like a few times and like set up and stabilized it, it's really freaking easy to set up. Um, the only thing is I'm getting a like a quick release thing for the the, the camera that's basically like an intermediate uh, little like mount that goes in between the camera and the base plate on the stabilizer. So basically you can just uh, like, you put that on, you put the camera on, and then you just put, put like a switch and it just releases the camera. So it's really easy to take it on and off the stabilizer. You don't have to like re-screw it in. Uh, but once the camera's on, it just takes like a few little minor adjustments to stabilize the camera. It takes like a few minutes to set up. Um, and the uh, the batteries on this thing, I guess apparently last six hours um, and it comes with two sets of batteries. So that's 12 hours right there of vlogging. So that's like perfect. Um, and it's, like I said earlier, in like uh, the first clip that it's like built really, really well. So it's really good for traveling. I mean, it's pretty small and like you can turn the thing on and off. And once it's off, you can basically just lay it down on its side. Um, not really worry about like, it breaking or anything as long as it's you know not like being crushed by anything but anyways since i like this thing so much um and i'm at convoy i'm going to give you guys a tour basically using this thing so it's kind of like a first-hand experience of like how good this thing is so let's get to it all right so here's the first part of the gym there's two squat arcs right here they've got the chains uh they got the 50 pound oops you see that 50 pound competition plates. They've got all the other competition plates right here, all the calibrated ones. Um, I don't use these things because I, uh, oops. I don't use them because honestly, like all my videos just go on Instagram, like my lifting videos, and it looks way cooler if you have big 45s on, and that's like clickbait right there. Like you want people to look at your videos, and like if they see the thumbnail and it's like a bunch of weights, like, oh shit, like I'm gonna click on this to get your views up. I don't use the plates because um, they look for Instagram. Moving on. All right, so over here is one deadlift platform. Right here they've got all the different bars. There's a, this is a deadlift bar right here. Um, and then they got these, this, this one right here is a 55 pound squat bar. And then the ones with the red stickers are the bench bars. Got all the clips. Over here is some bands. And then they have all the specialty bars over here. Like they have the safety bars or safety squat bars, whatever they're called. Um, like the cambered bar, buffalo bar, whatever they're called. Um, see the trap bars, this red thing. And then the uh, like tricep bench bar, whatever it's called. More bands over here. More special or more like regular bars for bench squats and deadlifts. Right here is one of the bench. This is the competition bench that also this bench comes out and it turns into a competition squat rack. Same with this one over here. Here's another um, deadlift platform. This is one that I'm using right now. This one has uh, the little things right here so you can attach bands to it. Um, over here is kind of like a, a multi-purpose like CrossFit 
more squat racks, whatever you want to do with them. So it's got like three cage or technically six cages. You can set up um, six squat racks in here. Over here is a little turf, freaking little runny thing for whatever. It's got a uh, sled right here. And then the, uh, oops, here's a sled right here. I don't think you guys saw that. And then this thing right here is the, the farmer's walks. Load the place on there and you're like walking down the thing. Battle ropes, of course, down in there. So there's the bumper plates for the CrossFit thing. And then over here, they have um, a detachable tricep dip bar and then also down, oops, down here is a thing for T-bar rows. No fucking idea what this thing is. And then over here they have like all the attachments for the T-bar rows. They have like a close grip, a wide grip, a whatever grip. Um, some medicine balls. Alright, and then over here is kettlebells. And then here is two uh, Olympic lifting platforms. And they have the boxes for doing like um, box uh, cleans and overhead press and all that stuff. And then over here, the other section of the gym is just like a free weight kind of whatever area. There's the benches, dumbbells, I think go up to 100 or something. Yeah, dumbbells go up to 100. And then they got some little odds and ends mobility stuff. They have like a pegboard wall climb thing up here. Um, what, uh, what is this thing called? Like hyper extension machine. This is reverse hyper over here. Let's go over here. Um, and then pull up bar there. Another squat rack. Um, and then a uh, lying hamstring curl slash leg extension. Oops. Right there. And then it's got a lat pull down, which is also like a tricep push down. And it's got a cable down there for. Um, doing curls and whatnot. So that was the gym. Um, hopefully it looked good on the stabilizer. I haven't uh, looked at any like vlogging footage on this thing, so I don't really know how good it looks, but I'm imagining it looks pretty freaking good. Um, so hopefully this little review did the stabilizer justice because I really think it's an awesome investment. Um, it's 600 bucks, which really isn't a bad deal. There's um, stabilizers that are just like this that are like close to $1,000. Um, this is definitely like on the cheaper end for like a really, really good stabilizer. So if you guys want to check this out, I'll post a link to the uh, Amazon page um, for this product down below. But uh, if you know if you already have a decent camera and you're looking for the next best thing to increase your your content, your Instagram, YouTube, whatever, I highly recommend this because I've been. Um, oops. Um, I highly recommend this because it works really well. Like I said, it's really easy to set up, and uh, I think it's a really good purchase. But I've only had it for two days. Uh, but so far everything's good. But if uh, and like a week or something all of a sudden like explodes and doesn't work, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Uh, but I'll let you guys know if that happens, but I don't think it will because um, a lot of, I looked up a lot of reviews on this. A lot of people seem to really, really like this thing. Um, so yeah, I don't think uh, I'm gonna have any issues with it, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. But anyways, all right, let's get back to the workout. Also, one thing that I did forget to add is um, the goal point of this little gym tour was to give you guys like a hands-on review of the stabilizer, but I also did wanna show you guys the gym because this gym is freaking awesome. Like I love coming here, um, even though I don't come here as often as I should. But uh, as you guys saw in the when I first got here, there was no one here, and I everyone gets like an access card. So the gym's open 24/7. Um, just come here whenever you want. Um, and one cool thing about it is like, whoops, sorry. Everyone's uh, really big about like cleaning up after themselves, or at least like the owners are. So So pretty much every time you come to the gym, like it looks exactly the same. You know, like everything's where it should be. There's no mess, no trash or anything like that. Like, you know, like a lot of commercial gyms, shit's like all over the fucking place. You can't find anything. Um, so that's one really cool thing about this gym is like it's a definitely you know like a hardcore powerlifting gym, but people keep it really, really clean. Whoa, dude, this thing's bugging out. Um, but the only downside is since it's like a 24-hour gym, uh, there's no front desk people. So if you come here like really, really late, someone, dude. All right, guys, this thing's tweaking out a little bit. Um, if you come here really late, someone can totally break in and fucking rape the shit out of you. Uh, if that does happen, which it could. I mean, that just sucks. You guys just saw my uh, first set of block pulls. Um, so I did three sets of those, 390 or 495. 
Now, moving on to some uh, deficit deadlifts with bands. Oops. So normally I wouldn't really do so much accessory work, but I don't come to this gym as often as I should. So, and at 24 I don't have blocks or bands that I can use. So when I'm at this gym, I like to use them. All right, let's get. So let's finish up deficit deadlifts. Uh, I should three sets of three. Not really going heavy, so I'm just just doing 315 with these bands, like a medium strength band with like a inch and a half, two inch deficit. So now I'm gonna do like three or four sets of safety bar squats, and that's gonna be it. So I just finished up my uh, safety bar squats. Um, so that bar is a 65 pound bar, so it's a little bit heavier. So I was actually doing 335 pounds, not 315. Um, and I really like doing this kind of as like an accessory for my squat and deadlift just because you don't really uh, um, tense your back muscles like you do with normal squats. So it's like totally different. You need to like contract your entire back muscles just to maintain a neutral spine and uh, keep everything stable. So it's much harder than regular squats and it's definitely really, really good for building uh, back strength. Oops. Um, so it's a really good accessory. A lot of gyms don't have a uh, safety bar for squats, but if your gym does have one, I'd highly recommend using it because it's a great accessory movement. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so I really hope that this video looked good. Um, if you guys haven't already figured out, this whole pretty much video was filmed with uh, the stabilizer. Um, and also another thing is that you can, there's a little screw on the bottom so you can mount it to uh, any tripod. So I was mounting on this tripod Whoops, oh shit, go up. Sorry, this thing's kind of slow. There we go. Um, so the clips you saw like of my list was all with the stabilizer mounted onto the tripod. Um, so it's really, really easy to use and assuming it looks really good. But anyways, that's gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was a good review and hopefully it did this gym justice and did the stabilizer justice because uh, really good product, really good gym. Uh, but anyways, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Uh, makes it more likely that people are going to see this video. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.